Hey, what's up, guys? So, this is gonna be my updated guide for Quinn Season 7. And, uh, sorry it took so long to, you know, make this video, but, like, I was fucking stressed out with, with finals week and everything. I mean, dude, I had a freaking tough semester. Literally had my butt clenched the whole freaking semester. It's finally over, though, so... Uh, from now on, I'm going to be able to make a lot more videos for you guys. But yeah, um, I'm just going to get right into it then. So, starting off with my masteries. Uh, I think this is the same. Nothing has changed, right? So, oh yeah, they only changed fervor. Fervor, fervor battle is better now. So, um, for against swishies. Uh, this is the thing you're going to take, and it's going to be the same thing, so nothing has changed here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the Fervor Masteries then. Um, Fervor Mastery, Fervor is better now, so you want to be taking that, um, into tanks. Uh, it still is, is weaker than it was before, but like, they just buffed it, like, I don't know how to patch go, like, last patch. So, this is going to be a lot better. It's going to be a lot better, um, especially if you're building crit, right? Because look, it gives you AD now. So if you're building crit, like it's going to be doing more damage. But like that's only like mid-game where you're actually getting the crit. So uh, early on, it's going to be weaker. But I think later into the game, it's going to be actually stronger than it was before. But like that's only like after you get IE and Phantom Dancer. So it's going to be... It's still weaker than old fervor, but like it's it's better. It's good enough, is what I'm saying. So uh, this is gonna like make the anti tank build useful again, because like before this buff, like this fervor was so weak. Like I was taking warlords because fervor was just so weak. But yeah, um, I think all this is the same. You're gonna be wait want to taking fervor from now on against tanks. Um, okay, so. You guys already know, is I'm going to assume that you guys are already familiar with, with my um, builds and stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to my uh, runes. Okay, so for my runes, you know, it's going to be the same thing for swishies. I haven't changed anything, so uh, it's going to be that 24 lethality. That's, uh, that's from Marks and Quints, and then I take Scaling Armor and MR. And um, that's a little bit risky if you're not if you're not experienced with Quinn. But like, if you can get away with it, I think you always want to take Scaling instead. But like I say, if you're new to Quinn, then you probably want to take Flat until that you can get a battle handle. But like I've played Quinn since forever, so uh, um, I can get away with this. Uh, so the reason why you want to take all this lethality is if you guys um, like have why wondering why like i don't take attack speed like because is uh for the build which i'm going to show you later is uh it, it has dust blade right and dust blade does more damage the more lethality you have right so it's like dust blade like you can do true damage if you have a lot of lethality uh like so that's gonna make your assassination so strong you know when you have all this lethality you know and then that that ghost that dust blade is gonna do like freaking 200 extra true damage, so that's really gonna help you delete um, swishies. But you know another reason why you wanna go just like full lethality is like because um, if you guys don't know like armor gives diminishing diminishing returns right, so if you have 200 armor and you get 10 more armor that means nothing like. It doesn't give you any more that much useful stat, right? But if you have zero armor and you buy ten armor, like that's gonna give you a lot of uh, damage reduction. So you know what that means is, you know, the closer the your target's uh, armor is to zero, the more valuable each point of armor penetration becomes. So that's why armor penetration or flat armor penetration or lethality in this case is so strong versus like swishies but almost useless against tanks because you know tanks they have just too much armor and like at 
when they have higher uh, values of armor, you know, shaving away like a couple, couple like 10 or 20 doesn't matter. But when your opponent's armor is low, like shaving 10 off or 20 off, you know, that's really gonna hurt. Yeah, um, so, okay, I wanna go on to my anti-tank masteries then. So, for anti-tank, you know, it's gonna be the same thing, nothing, nothing has changed. I'm gonna be taking full attack speed, so, well, not completely full, just from Marks and Quince, okay? So that's going to give you 29 attack speed, and you know if you're in, if you're new to the channel, um, I take full attack speed because like that really synergizes well with fervor. Now, so fervor gives you AD now for every uh for every auto, right? So the faster you can stack it up and faster you can attack, like it has synergy with attack speed. So you don't be using that um. It's gonna give you a lot more damage than you know. Just if you have AD instead, this is, it, just, you're just gonna do more damage. And uh, the only downside about this is uh, if you're not experienced, if you're not uh, used to playing with low AD, then you might you're gonna be losing CS. Okay. So what I wanna recommend is you probably wanna start if you're just not used to it. Then I would recommend that you start with uh, just um, a, a attack marks and then AS quintessences, right? And like maybe you can uh, slowly uh, add more attack speed to your marks, or you know just man up and like actually just keep practicing with uh, full attack speed so you can actually know how to CS. You know that's. I think like when I first started using this, I had problems too. But um, like that's long, that's long ago. I don't have any problems CSing with this right now. Okay, so um, okay, so now I'm gonna go to my build. Okay, so onto my build, and uh, I'm pretty sure this is the part where you guys are most curious about. And uh, my build has changed a lot actually. So two patches ago, they buffed Bork. And since they buffed that, like, it's gonna be super core on Quinn now. And it's, like, so strong. So you wanna be building this, like, every game. Um, okay, to start off, let's let's go over my, uh, standard build. So the standard build is gonna be built that you're taking most of the time. So to 80%, to 90%, you're gonna, of the time, you're gonna be taking this build. And the, the standard build, like, uh, it's, it's, uh, better against Swishies, okay? So, like against Swishy, you Swishy's opponent, right? You're always gonna be wanting to build uh, this um, this build right here. Okay, so the first item that you're gonna get that's gonna be Ghost Blade. Why? Why do you want to build Ghost Blade first instead of uh, all the other three lethality items? And uh, that's because like first of all, like Ghost Blade is so cheap, right? Look at this, uh, the price of it. It's 2,900, and it's like 200 gold cheaper than the Edge of Night, and it's 350 gold cheaper than the Dust Blade, right? So it's just so cheap. It, it just, you're going to hit your power spike just so fast for building this. But the most important thing is the second reason, okay? So the build path. Look, at, If you look at this, like the build path is just so clean, right? You have four long swords, and you get... And then these two components, they're like, they're super affordable. And then when you build, uh, you complete your uh, ghost blade is 700 to combine them both. It's like the cleanest build path that you can have, right? Now look at this blade, uh, dust blade build path. Okay, so the, the, the dark is fine, but look at this the BF sword like uh, 1300 gold. Like you're most of the time you're not gonna be able to get that gold in lane, okay? And if you if you try to rush to this, then what that means is you're probably gonna force yourself to stay longer in lane than you than you actually want to. Okay, so you're gonna have a bad back if you try to force yourself to stay in lane long enough to farm up for that gold for the BF sword. Okay, you don't want to do that. You want to back when it's most uh, effective to do so, right? If you try to stay too long, you might just die, or you might uh, forfeit your advantage. Okay, so like this. 
this build path, like, sometimes it work. Like, let's just say that you do farm well, or maybe you get a first blood kill, right? In that case, then you can rush uh, Dust Blade. And, like, Dust, Dust Blade is just the superior item. Why? Because, like, it's, it's more expensive. So, of course, it's going to be the better item to rush. Well, not the better item, but it's going to be the stronger item, right? You do way more damage with Dust Blade than you're going to do with Ghost Blade. But, like, the build path is bad and it's more expensive. So, you're not going to be able to rush it um, most of the time. Whereas, like, Ghost Blade, you're gonna, you can rush that every game, no matter what. But, like, I will say that if you ever back with 1300 gold, then you do want to rush Dust Blade. Uh, that's because, just because, like, if you can get a uh, rush Dust Blade first, then you want to. Because why? It's the stronger item. Okay, you're gonna do more damage with it. But, uh, for most of the time, I would say that, um... Most of the time you can't do that, so you're gonna be get Ghost Blade, and then, and then your next item is gonna be Dust Blade. And um, after Ghost Blade and Dust Blade, like your damage is gonna be insane. Okay, so you have 24 lethality from your uh, runes, plus the 20 from Ghost Blade, and then plus 15 from Dust Blade. Okay, that means you're gonna be doing a lot of true damage. Okay. You so you want to be flying around like in in the darkness somewhere, and you just want to go pop out somewhere and like kill a swishy. That's what you want to. That's this is your power spike. So you want to take advantage of, of this. And uh, it's just so strong. After these two things, you you can like delete swishies, right? And uh, okay, so so onto the next item. You the next item for most of the time you're gonna be wanting to rush. Edge of Night, okay, so that's your, uh, so you can just get triple lethality items, you know, that's gonna be your holy trinity, okay? And, like, after you get these three, um, you wanna get these three in successions, just so you can buff, you know, you can really make use of that, uh, Dust Blade passive, you know, the more lethality you have, the more damage that, uh, that true damage is gonna be. So, if you rush these three items it's gonna make your damage actually like disgusting right and you can delish uh delete swishies with it right after your three lethality items you can just completely one shot a swishy and like it's the most satisfying thing ever uh i'm pretty sure you guys uh if you guys watch my videos you, you might uh notice me doing this but it's like just so strong like it's quinn right now is actually stronger than she was in season Six. Like she's a lot stronger, I would say, because uh, these three, the lethality changes, they're good, except for only for Quinn though. Um, they're nerfs for everyone else, but for Quinn, you know, since she can, uh, she can like get these three items, and then like, even from her rooms, she can get lethality. So it's gonna be really strong. Uh, I do want to say that. Uh, you want to rush Edge of Night, like, most of the time, but not all the time. Uh, third, I mean. So, for your third item, uh, if you can, you do want to rush Edge of Night, but, like, let's say there are some scenarios where you can't, okay? And if you can't, then you want to rush, uh, you want to get the, uh, Bork, or right, Blade of the Rune King third. And the scenarios where you would want to get Bork third is because, um... If there's like a strong duelist that you need to kill, right? Or or someone um a bit too tanky, right? So you know if you get these three uh the thing about this these three items, you know it doesn't really give you a lot of dual power. You don't have enough attack speed. You can't really do anyone. You can really you can poke someone and you can delete someone. Those are the two things that you can do with uh, with their three lethality items, right? But you can't duel someone that effectively. So, if you're ever in that scenario where you have to, um, have to duel someone or fight someone, but you, uh, if you, if you build your three, um, lethality items, then you, you just lose. So, in that specific scenario, you want to build your, uh, Blade of Rune King third. But I would say that there's not a lot of scenarios where that would happen. So, where that would happen is, uh, if you fall behind, probably.
But if you're ahead, you can, you'll probably just want to get that three lethality um, items first, right? And then after that, uh, then you go into your your, your blade of the rune king. Why? Because then you need attack speed. Okay, so you uh you got in the way. With just uh, these three lethal lethality items, that's because you you can probably just delete a switch instantly. You do not need any attack speed. Okay, you probably can one all of them and kill them and they die. Okay, sometimes if you're far enough ahead, you just need to E and auto them and they'll die. Right, but uh, later into the game, you're gonna need that attack speed, so you're gonna be getting your um, Blade of the Rune King like fourth. Fourth item, pretty much all the time. Pretty much all the time. I don't. I would. I don't even know any scenario where you wouldn't want to do that. So. Okay, so that should be pretty self-explanatory, right? Like, uh, Blade of Rune King is just so good right now. It's so good. Like you do so much damage. So your um. Three lethality items like allow you to like, fuck up a swishy, right? So. Your blade of the Rune King, that's gonna allow you to like kill a tank, okay? You can kill it. You can kill both Swishies and tank after you get your dust. I mean, uh, your, uh, your, uh, blade of the Rune King, I mean. And then your last item, of course, that's gonna be, have to be your last Whisper because, like, at some point, you know, the tanks, they just get too tanky, okay? And, uh, I wanna say th one thing too, like, um, you sometimes you can't uh you you're not far enough ahead where you can just get your uh, uh last whisper component last right you can get your last whisper component right sometimes you're just not far ahead enough where you can do that so if you're not far enough ahead where you can do that you don't you don't have to finish your ghost blade right you can get uh the recurve bow because you need attack speed right you can get the recurve bow and then you can build uh, after that, you can build um, Last Whisper. And after you do that, then you can go back and finish your your uh, Blade of the Rune King, and then after that, then finish your uh, Last Whisper. Right, and that's that's when you're not far enough ahead to do that, and it's gonna happen sometimes. Okay, so you, you can, don't be try don't be greedy and just um, try to build the blade no matter what. Even though you know, sometimes I'm guilty of that too. So don't try to be greedy. You know you really need to look at the situation and um, and uh, knowing what you have to do. So you really have to use your intuition a little bit here. Okay, so this is for my uh, you know this is when you're against a swishy opponent, right? But the thing is, guys, um, with the true damage from Dust Blade, right? You have so much true damage, like so. Like I said, like you're gonna be taking this build like 80 to uh, 90 percent of the time, right? But like, do you go up to you go up against uh, swishies uh, 80 to 90 percent of the time? No, like you can actually take this build into tanks, but it depends on what kind of tank, right? So, so the thing is, like, it's so strong. This build is so strong. You do true damage, so you can. Uh, even if they're a tank, it actually doesn't matter. Um, there are some tanks that you can't do this, and I wanna, I wanna name like, right now I only know of two, of two tanks where you can't do this against. Okay, so the first one is gonna be Singe. Okay, Singe is a uh, pretty, pretty annoying, and you can't deal with him if you take this build. I'll tell you guys right now, you can't deal with him if you take this build. And then the second is gonna be Malphite. Malphite. It's just too tanky, and you're gonna get slapped if you take this build. So you're gonna be, you can't take this build. But like those are the two champions that like, like that I know so far. Like maybe there are, are somewhere, and uh, I think there there are somewhere, but I just cannot think of any or face any right now. Uh, so this this uh, build you're gonna be taking eighty to ninety percent of the time, even into tanks like. Even into really tanky champions, you can like you can get away with this, right? You can. But uh, I'll go on to my anti-tank build just so you know uh, when you're ever facing those matchups where you just cannot 
uh, you can just you cannot win with the the standard belt or the armor fan belt. So uh, if you're not familiar uh, with my anti tank build, it has changed as well. So okay, let's look at this. Um, okay, so the, here's the big change. Okay, you build Bork first. You build Bork first, and uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but in season four. In season four, Quinn would rush Bork into a brutalizer. Or well, if you're a tank, uh, sh if you're a tank, you she would rush Bork into a Last Whisper. And if uh, if you're against a Swishy, she would rush Bork into brutalize, and she would kill everybody. Okay, well now we're back to that again. Okay, so you're gonna be rushing your Blade of Rune King first. Okay, it's actually so strong. Um, you don't the th uh. The reason why you were rushing uh, the Black Cleaver, so before this, like in my build, I was rushing the Black Cleaver first. That's because you needed the armor pin. But the thing is about the Blade of the Ruin King is uh, it's actually really good. Okay, versus tanks. Why? Because it does like percent damage, right? So it's going to cut through a tank, uh, even if they be if they are building armor, right? They're going to be building armor and health, so it's going to cut through them. So you, it's, it's just strong. Like, you guys just gonna have to trust me and uh, build this. Uh, just build Bork first, right? It's just it's the safest thing, too. So, like, if you build Bork, you have early attack speed and sustain. Like, that's way better than uh, what the Black Cleaver can offer. Okay, so after Bork, you're gonna build, then you're gonna build your uh, Black Cleaver. And it's good because uh, you already have your attack speed and life steal. So, this is, uh, if you're building like this, the tanks are like, you're going to shit on them. I, I've tried this, like, um, against uh, Malphite and uh, Singe. Like, you, uh, you, will win. you will win. Like, it's not like this only works on, like, Malphite or Singe. It works on all the tanks, but, uh, I don't recommend going it against all the tanks because like if you can get away with it then you want to take the armor pin or armor pin build instead because like the armor pin build is actually just a lot stronger right so but the anti-tank build is you you need to take it so you can survive okay if you don't survive your lane you're not then you can't do anything so you're gonna need to take this uh anti-tank build if you're ever up against singe or Malphite. And I'm pretty sure pretty sure there's gonna be someone else, but I actually don't know yet because I haven't faced anyone that I have needed to build this against except those two champions. Okay, so after Black uh Cleaver, Phantom Dancer, why? Because Phantom Dancer synergizes with HP from Black Cleaver. Okay, this is gonna really make you strong. You already have attack speed. You have armor pin and you have crit now with attack more attack speed and then off after that obviously you can build IE and uh building these crit is gonna really make your th your fervor strong so they change fervor to give AD right so if you build you're building this is actually gonna fervor is actually gonna do be dealing more damage than the old fervor right because if you crit that's gonna like do like probably 200 damage extra. It's like really strong, so you want to be getting your um your crit in here, and like uh I really love this build because like even early on, like uh before there was a problem where you know uh, if you go go black wishes for I mean uh the black cleaver first, but you don't ha have attack speed now. It's like it's really perfect. It's actually stronger than it was before. I would say. Okay, so after IE, you wanna after IE, you wanna get um, what I I like right now is the frozen mallet. Okay, but uh, I don't think I think this is exchangeable. Um, for for one thing, it's you're gonna be uh, looking between the frozen mallet, uh, material, or the bloodthirster, and I'll tell you each each uh, scenario where you wanna be building this. So mallet is when you're looking for that extra tankiness, okay? 
It's going to be the most tanky item, but it's also going to give you a lot of utility. Like, a lot of utility. Insane utility. Especially if you're going to have, like, a Sinj, you probably want to take this. No, it's just really perfect. Um, it's going to really give you a lot of, uh, of HP, and that's going to synergize with the uh, Phantom Nanith passive, right? And for a second scenario, uh, Mercurial, right? So, if, if you're against a lot of hard CC, or... Or it's just one CC that is like too too important, right? One CC that you have just you just have to dodge, and you want to go Mercurial, okay? And then or um, Bloodthirster, you can get take Blood Blood Bloodthirster instead, and that's gonna be your damage option, okay? You're gonna be dealing more damage with that, okay? So yeah, I think uh, this is pretty self-explanatory, um. I think this is it guys, uh, Quinn is so strong right now guys, um, uh, I, I think, like, I think, like, you can, I, you can actually climb, like, really far, I don't, I'm actually kind of worried that they actually might do something, so you guys need to be discreet about this, okay, um, <laughs> Like if if they if uh if they ever uh find out like they might just nerf her, just because like lethality is just so good on her right now. But uh, I think it's fine since since no one really even plays Quinn. But uh, okay, I think this is gonna be uh, where I end it. But uh, if you guys have any questions, and just ask them in the comments and I'll answer them. But yeah, this is gonna be my updated guide for season seven Quinn.